Well, okay. Hello everyone. This is going to be my short contribution to the new media project of the Zeitgeist Movement, which is called Why I Advocate the Zeitgeist Movement. So I have basically two reasons, or I can break it down to two reasons why I advocate the Zeitgeist Movement, and it's because of... One is because they've created some kind of awareness in me, and secondly, the movement actually deals with the relevant issues, which is which I'm going to point out right now. What I mean with the relevant issues is um, when you look at the the misery, the problems the world is facing today, you will basically see that it's all about money. And most of the crime, I mean all the corruption, poverty, war, it's all related to money. And uh, when you see how society is built up today, there's been a constant development. I mean, money has been a great invention in the past for the for the last centuries. We have made huge, yeah, simply huge developments through the invention of money. But today, it's in fact it's it's indeed like this that the money is causing the problems and not solving any problems anymore. When you look at how corporations and and the whole economy is developed, it's all based upon profit, making profit. So people will do all they can in order to make profit, which is, for example, the cancer industry or the drug industry. They have diseases they want to cure, but they will never cure them because when they cure them, they will simply lose their jobs. So uh, another example is the wars that are going on in the world today. When you stop the wars tomorrow, everybody will say, well, great, it's, there, are no, there are no more wars anymore. But what will happen to the economy? I mean, Germany is a great exporter of, of weapons, US of course. They will simply crash, it will be a whole ca catastrophe. You can so the, the economy is built upon a system which is completely outdated, outmoded, and cannot deal with the problems today, but it's rather creating all the problems we have today. And it will create more and more unless we, unless we simply realize that, uh, yeah, we have to change the system. And that leads to, to the second point. In order to change the system, we can never rely on, on the governments or on, on the elites today who are in power, who, who would be able to change it because they, they profit simply. Either they profit simply too much from it so that they will never change it, or on the other hand, there's, they are too much involved in the system that they don't see the solution. They don't simply see what, what has to be changed in order to solve anything. So it's really up to the people. I mean, it's really up to to a global movement to awaken all the people and then explain it to them, to those who are capable, still capable of crit critical thinking. Because when I look at the politicians today, those who tr who like seem to have the solutions, they are not a, they are not able to 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 radically think otherwise, to 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 really invent something new. They are simply there for providing the status quo. So the second point is that the, the movement is really creating some kind of awareness which, which is very important. When you look at the propaganda, the, the manipulation that is going on in the public today, it's amazing how people, <laughs> how people simply don't talk about the really uh, the actual facts, but rather talk about austerity measures or about <coughs> money problems, but nobody's really asking where does the money come from. When you realize that the money is created out of debt, and therefore, there can never be enough money to repay all the, the outstanding credit. You will see that it's simply a matter of distribution. There's no nothing to discuss about austerity measures or whatever. It's simply th the problem lies at the very basic of, of the whole system. So this is very, very important. And the, the Zeitgeist movement is the only global movement I'm aware of which is really addressing the important issues. And therefore, is simply able to change anything at all. Yeah, that is basically, and actually it's a funny story that, that I was asking my dad when I was a small child, I was asking him that how is, can it be possible that uh, that the, the people are starving for money when, when they are actually themselves who are creating it. And it's, has, it's still on the table, the question, so, um, yeah, <laughs> it's very funny. So um, I wanted to, to close with a quote from Salvador Dali which is really related to this 
propaganda which is really creating this this fog of, of misinformation today and preventing from people to see the clear so to see the clear solutions he once said um, one day the public will have to officially admit that what they once uh, called reality is an even greater illusion than the world of dreams thank you very much